in January 2021, we led the largest workshop in our library-based makerspace history. We taught our 3D design and print workshop to a first-year robotics class of 191 students. Their electrical engineering professor wanted to make sure that everyone had the skills to design custom design parts for their VEX robotic kits. While the number of participants in that workshop was unusually large, it is representative of the hundreds of workshops we've taught in four credit classes at the invitation of professors since 2017. So far, we've taught almost 20,000 workshop participants in four credit classes, compared to just over 7,000 who participated in drop-in workshops in our makerspace. One of the primary objectives of our makerspace is to provide hands-on making experiences to as many students as possible. That said, offering makerspace workshops through four credit courses was not something we planned for, but luckily it happened organically. From our opening day, we made our workshops available to all students, staff, and faculty, which turned out to be one of the best decisions we made. Two months after opening our doors, one professor took our 3D design and print workshop and then asked us if we could lead the workshop for his ed tech class. Of course, we said yes, and this was the first workshop we embedded in a four credit class, and it opened our eyes to the benefits of partnering with professors, and we helped them solve at least two problems. First, we helped their students acquire skills that the professor doesn't feel expert enough to teach on their own, often in the service of alternate format assignments, which have become very popular with the advent of generative AI tools. Second, we offer to teach in-class workshops even when the instructor is out of town. We always consult with professors requesting workshops to make sure that our curriculum aligns with their course objectives. We did this for the robotics class by creating a new tutorial on how to modify VEX parts. Feedback from students is overwhelmingly positive. Most love the new high-tech maker skills they're acquiring. Here's some of the feedback from workshop participants. A history professor said that the library makerspace is an exciting venue where my students and I have been exposed to cutting edge digital tools. A student emailed us saying, the library makerspace workshops are the best kept secret on campus. While we were fortunate to discover how helpful partnering with instructors can be to increase the reach of our workshops, there have been a few challenges. First, makerspace classroom overscheduling has been a pain point. The main way we avoid overbooking is to run workshops in a professor's classroom unless the makerspace equipment is absolutely needed. Second, as the number of workshop requests grew, our instructors eventually ran out of time to take on new workshop requests. One solution was to hire part-time graduate assistants who lead workshop in their areas of expertise. Secondly, we asked returning professors if they would like to lead workshops on their own using our curriculum and support. It's hard to believe that we've taught 20,000 makerspace workshop participants in the last six years. Partnering with faculty to embed our workshops in their courses has in large part made it possible to reach so many students, many of whom didn't even know that there was a makerspace open to them in the library. The positive feedback we receive from both teaching faculty and students make all the hard work we've done worthwhile. Thank you.